Research complete. Hey hello guys my name is Pradeep Kumar let's start a new tutorial to number 24 this one is part 2 of dynamical event okay in the part 1 we covered uh, this program okay and it depend upon the uh, control va reference okay this is the control reference okay now let me start without a uh, create a reference okay let's i delete this code yes now right click here and go to silver uh, create uh, some uh, control like i'm choose a numeric first and let me take this vertical next one uh, i'm choose the boolean okay this led and the next one is let it take the string a uh, string control this one yes now let's modify okay and this one is uh, your string Uh, yes guys now let i modify again okay now what you do let's i copy this one uh, and i am entry publish container okay yes this one and this one is our uh, subscribe a uh, container subscriber container okay and what we do let's uh, come on the block diagram and uh, let's uh, modify uh, yes now what you do first uh, right click here go to uh, measurement io and nidq advance and dm uh, daq mx event events pin this one uh, sorry pin this one uh, yes okay now first uh, you need to create user event okay right now you need to use this icon that is create user event this is depend upon your database okay not a reference now click and drag here okay uh, right now we need a 3 let's take this one uh, yes now next one is event structure this one okay and uh, next one you need to use i uh, use this register for events okay and next one is unregistered unregistered for events this one yeah now close this one yeah now select all this uh select right click here and click to label okay now you see create user event this one this one is register for event and this one is unregistered for events okay now uh, when you uh, click to question mark and drag your mouse on this icon and you see this is create user event return a reference to a user event love you use the user event data type okay remember this user event data type which data type you need to give okay let him close this one and there are option that is user event data type okay right now this is numeric now what we do and first click this one right click and create a constant okay this one is our uh, numeric data type and you need to connect to this terminal here and yes same for boolean right click create a, a constant okay drag uh, here and you need to connect to second terminal second of your create user event okay and by default uh, click to false yes next one is string create constant and you need to connect the last one create user event like this okay now select this one let's visible okay now uh, you understand about this icon create user event yes okay now this is register for event now what you do you see this is the event registration refnum okay and this one is event source you need to connect this event source to this then uh, user event out and you need to connect to this one okay this is one this is uh, when you click to this one this one and you see this is user event means it's depend upon you okay guys next let's i uh, drag yes now second one you need to connect this one and third one you need to connect this one like this okay now everything is done and uh, this uh, three are all are uh, user events 
yes guys now what we do and uh, let's modify now this one is event registration ref num you need to connect and connect to this terminal okay and this one and you need to connect to the unregistered when you call to any uh, event then it's uh, register uh, your events then after complete then unregister our events yes guys now what we do let i will uh, yeah now what you do right click here and uh, structure create a while loop for continuity operation uh, like this yes okay now what we do first uh, right click here and click to edit event handle by case okay now you see there are dynamic events one is vertical point second is boolean third is string okay now let i choose the first one vertical click to okay and let's uh, i add the another one that is uh, next is boolean click to okay and the last one is our string right click add event click to string this one okay now you see uh, one is vertical second is boolean third is string okay now first go to vertical point slide event this one okay guys now what you do first click to shorts and you need to use the vertical point slider means this one okay and let's minimize this yes now right click here and create an indicator okay this is the indicator of this vertical point slider okay now <clears throat> okay now uh, let's uh, go to the boolean same uh, click to shorts and select the boolean okay and right click here and create an indicator this one next is your event and in the event click to source and select the string again right click here and create an indicator okay like this okay guys and right now what you do let i'm uh, you know manually uh, right now manually i'm create the control of this button okay guys now press control t let's first i uh, modify this thing okay this one is string this one is vertical let's uh, increase yes yes and this one is your uh, indicator okay uh, yes guys now let's uh, again uh, come to the block diagram right click here and structure create the another that is a uh, while loop okay this one yes uh yes guys now right click here and go to structure right now you need to use the simple event structure this one okay yes now right click here go to measurement io ni daq uh, advance uh, daq mx event and right now let me choose the uh, this is generate user event okay means this one is generate the user event uh, okay as per uh, your uh, this controls okay and then send the data to register event and then it's uh, then it's called to event okay now let i will show you uh yes first this one is user event which data type now what you do you need to connect like first this one uh yes and you need to connect to this terminal like here and right now you need to connect this one okay and second one is event data type which event data type right now i'm using the this numeric okay and drag here and right click and use as icon okay and right now you need to connect this terminal and you need to connect means first you need to give the value from this control and this one is generate user event and it send the data then it's called the event yes guys now what you do uh, right click here and go to edit event and uh, let i will ch uh, choose the first that is vertical point slider this one is your control yes next one right click and click to add event and right now we need to use the boolean okay and same thing let i copy uh, this uh, generate uh, generate user event and paste here okay but right now you need to use this uh, another uh, user event okay uh, that is uh, boolean data type and you need to connect to this terminal like this okay and this one is boolean right click and create to change to control okay and let uh, click to view as icon 
okay guys and you need to connect and you need to give the event data okay this is boolean data this is generate user event and this send the data to register of events then it's call the same event okay and yes everything is done guys now what to do right click here and right now uh, click to add event case choose the string this is the last one okay let i'm copy same paste here yes this one is uh, next one that is a string now choose the string event data type okay and you need to connect to this one yes and this one you see they have event data okay you need to give the data uh, using the, this control us icon drag here connect to this one yes guys now everything is done okay first let i uh, choose the manually store button create control okay this one is uh, manually and same right click and create a control this one okay guys yes now let's i uh, minimize this one yes now control uh, save okay control t uh, yes this one is our stop button okay this stop one is this one maybe and this one is this one okay now click to run okay guys now this one is publish when you publish the data okay then it's automatic subscribe here like i will show the example when i increase from the publish container and it show the value in the subscribe container okay when you give the message here uh, hello guys sorry hello guys okay and you see hello guys when you click the on led and you see means this one is publish the data and this one is subscribe Okay, and in the next video i will show you the next uh, like in the different different vi one is publish the data and different two or another vi it subscribe the same data okay it's amazing let i turn off this one okay let's i will add another one that is the stop button okay uh, using the this boolean and how we can do this and uh, go to the boolean okay let i will uh, delete this uh, delete this one same i delete this one okay and this boolean button what you do uh, this one give the uh, true value okay and let i will connect to this terminal okay same this one boolean and you need to connect to this terminal and you need to connect here okay control s control t and let uh, run again okay right now this one is our numeric okay and you see it's working publish the data and automatic subscribe and same i went here thanks thanks and you see it's working well yeah it's very very important guys this boolean okay because when it turn on from the published container means this vi this uh while loop okay when it turn on this one then it's turn off this while loop okay and same time it send the data to the register and it's call the register of this user event okay and after that it's also turn off this vi means both vi turn off using the single published container okay that i'll show the example when i turn on and you see it's working on and then automatic turn off the our vi it's amazing guys means when you open the like a uh, three or four vi using the single uh, uh, single program or single button you can turn off multiple vi's okay in the next um, in the next part i will show you it is a very very advanced okay uh, thank you so much if you really like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys